Hello, friends, and welcome to Theater Arlington's Theater Thursday. Always a pleasure to see you guys. Welcome. So glad that you're here. Uh, I think I'll explain really fast because I don't think I've ever told you guys this. This is your uh, information um, about the actual broadcast. Um, for those of you who are curious why when I first pop up there, I just sit there and smile like a, uh, uh, like a bozo. Uh, and don't say anything. It's because it takes a minute or so for about 10 seconds for the sound to sync with the picture. And so if I start talking right away, then my lips and the sound are not together. Uh, so I give it just a few moments and I just have to sit there and grin at you. Uh, and I'm sure you all just think, what's wrong with him? Does he not know it started? I do know it started. I'm just waiting for the sync. A uh, little tip there for those of you using the uh, Facebook Live or the stream yard. Um, so welcome. We're glad that you're here. Always a pleasure. Uh, please say hello in the comments there. Hi, Squeak. Good to see you. Uh, just like Squeak and Kathy O'Neill have done. Hi, Kathy. Uh, it's a good way for us to know that you're here. It's a good way for you to ask questions. And uh, I'm sure you'll have some amusing questions to ask today to our guests. Uh, so uh, you can greet each other there in the comments if you want to as well. Uh, just don't get carried away and forget to pay attention to what we're doing. Uh, so uh, the other thing I want to ask you to do is to like and share this post because that's a really good way for other people to find out about what's going on that may not be on our Facebook feed. So uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, first up, I got to tell you, uh, this past weekend was a little crazy around here. Uh, so we had auditions for Sister Act and they went great. Oh my gosh, we saw over 150 people and they were so talented and so wonderful and I can't wait to be able to announce the cast and all of you to find out about those folks because it was really tremendous. Um, over 150 people for only about 25 roles. So uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, the other thing uh, not so cool that went on, it was a little crazy because we've been doing some roofing work on our education building uh, and so uh, it rained all weekend and the roof was a little bit exposed. And so the majority of that water uh, came into the building this weekend. Da -da -da -da. There's a little photo there of um, some of the ceilings uh, that fell in while people were trying to audition. Oh, look at that mess. Isn't that nice? All the uh, um, insulation that came down all of the ceiling tiles that broke into millions of pieces. Uh, those are the tiles that we scrounged out, out of the back of our cars uh, and different places trying to uh, clean up the mess. Uh, there you can see lots of pooling water, uh, some more ceiling tile breakage there. There's all the buckets that we had that we were trying to catch the water and then the ceiling tiles were falling down into the buckets. It's a little bit of a disaster area. Uh, there's George who is uh, trying to <laughs> get some of the water up. Uh, that's upstairs hallway where you can see all of the water there that was pooling in the carpets. Unbelievable. Um, big, big, big giant mess where things uh, were dropping and falling uh, and barely missing people. It was very exciting for a few minutes. It was kind of like a game. Um, so uh, anybody got any uh, extra cash sitting around that you want to donate to the theater? Go ahead and do that. Uh, help us pay for those repairs. Um, I'm mostly joking about that, but it really was a, a little bit of a wild time. Um, so uh, I wanted to share that with you because I like to tell you everything that's happening at the theater. Uh, we do have a bunch of construction now going on over here and getting the roof all sealed up and it's all going to be great. We've gotten the floors and everything all cleaned up. So don't worry about that. Uh, the mess is gone for the most part and it will be by next week because da 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 our new classes for fall start next week. Um, and so from acting to musical theater, there is something really fun for kids of all ages. Uh, we have creative play classes for three to five year olds, which uses music and creative arts projects to bring stories to life. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Um, and those kids are so adorable. Um, that meets on Tuesdays from four to five. We also, very exciting, have an improvisation and physical comedy class that is very new and promises to be lots and lots of fun this year. 
our instructor, Tyler Thompson. Hi, Tyler. I don't know if she's on today, but she is a lot of times, and we just adore her. Well, she studied at Second City in Chicago, uh, which is world-renowned for their improv and comedy, and she is prepared to pass on all the fun tips and secrets and tricks to our students in that class. Um, all of our classes are on the website, and it's got all kinds of great information there, so be sure and go check out the website if you are looking for some theater instruction or classes for your students or your kiddos this semester. Hi, Lori, good to see you. Yes, Kathy O'Neill says the construction fence is up. And so, yes, they've been working in there for two weeks now on the asbestos abatement. Um, we've got all kinds of storage containers in the parking lot. There is a fence up that is uh, uh, blocking everything off and keeping everything safe. Uh, so it is really happening and it is very exciting. And some of the folks that are making that happen are our board of directors. And I'm happy to have some of them here with us again today for our Meet the Board. Um, and let's bring in our first guest, uh, the lovely and wonderful Jennifer Boone. Hello, Jen Boone. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. You're good. Just you're busy. busy I see you're ever. on the go today. <laughs> I am. Uh, I have three kiddos and we all have eye doctor appointments today. So I am literally sitting in the parking lot at the boys school so I can pick them up and zip up to the doctor. Excellent. Um, well, well, we won't keep you too long, uh, but I wanted to uh, tell everyone what you do in your real life when you're not at Theater Arlington working on the board. Okay, awesome. So as I said, I have three kids um, and a husband who sometimes acts like a kid. Um, just <laughs> Uh, but I work at Lockheed Martin. I am the senior manager of project engineering for the integrated fighter group. So that is by far a full-time job, usually right. like time and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very impressive job. Uh, that probably so. sounds more so than it is, but, uh, but it is uh, a lot. Yeah, for it, sure. It is a lot and uh, you got a lot to do there and you're super intelligent. So that's handy uh, when it comes to working at Lockheed Martin. So I know they like that. Um, and so what possessed you to get on Theater Arlington's board as busy as you are with kids and family and work? Um, and, you know, it takes some time to do this as well. So what made you mm -hmm. think hmm, that's a good use of my time? Yeah. Um, actually, a couple of things. So I actually did not grow up in Arlington. And so I, I just felt like I didn't have a lot of the Arlington connections that some of you know my friends did. And so I was looking for a way to get involved in the community. And um, let's be honest, I'm an engineer. I don't have an artistic bone in my body, um, but I still love the theater and I love the arts. And this is just a really good way for me to support that um, while not actually ever having to perform anything, except when you make me get on Facebook Live. So thanks there, for that, Steve. Exactly, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you actually are in charge of one of our big giant events right now. So you are the uh, chairperson of our uh, game night. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, Absolutely. What is, what is and when is game night? So game night is our board fundraiser that we have um, every year, although it's been a little bit longer than we would have liked with COVID. Uh -huh. So we are, we're about, I think, 16, 18 months apart this time, but it's our annual fundraiser. It is just a, an amazing time, amazing entertainment, dinner, drinks, games to play. Um, this year, it is going to be on October 29th at um, 1010 Collins. We don't have the full agenda yet, so more to come on that. Um, our theme is Let's Make a Steal, which is kind of a riff off on Let's Make a Deal. We are very much encouraging costumes, um, so we hope you'll come out. It's going to be an amazing time. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. We had a blast last year playing games um, with our Jip party, Jip uh, parody, yes. of party uh, and had lots and lots of fun. We had special guests that came in and played the games. But this time, anybody in the audience could be chosen to play a game. So anybody who shows up might get an opportunity to win some great prizes. So uh, I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, Jen is doing a great job with that committee and uh, we've got a, it's a really large committee. That's probably our largest yes. one on the board. Um, and we've got really great folks working on that. So it's going to be lots of fun and we hope to see lots and lots of folks there. Um, uh, what is your favorite thing about the theater? 
I would have to say the community. Um, just everybody that is around the theater and works together. Um, it just really is a great sense of community and we all support each other. Um, and just getting to know everybody, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. I agree. We're, we're, we are definitely a family. Um, well, sure. thank you. I know you got to get back to your family. Yes, uh, I do. So, uh, once they're in the car, we might jump back in and say hi to you later if you're still able to be on. Um, uh, but uh, I, it'll, be, it'll be fun to meet them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will do my best. Um, you might hear two crazy twin boys in the background, but they're a lot of fun. So just, you know, I'll talk over uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to meet the whole family. All right, yep. well, thank you for stopping by and uh, have fun at your eye appointment. I hope they, oh, uh, I hope everybody gets good news. Oh, thank you. I'm sure it'll be fun. All right, we'll see you soon. Right, thanks, y'all. Oh, bye. All right, uh, and let's jump over to another one of our board members, uh, the lovely Nadia DiStefano. Hello, Nadia. Hello, how are you, Steve? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Well, good. It's good to see you. Uh, we are joined by Mark Wilson. Hey, Mark. Good to see you. And Don Reasons. I love you, man. I'm good to see you. Uh, Lori Urso. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kim. Um, so lots of folks uh, joining us now. Uh, so Nadia, yes. uh, where are you right now? I am in my office at the Oak Ridge School. I um, do community engagement for Oak Ridge. Very nice. Yes. Um, and that is a lovely community over there as well. Um, and thank you for uh, matching your top to your lampshade. I think yes. that's very impressive. You're welcome. My cup. Yes, no, your, red oh, and your cup too. Yeah. Very color coordinated in that office. <laughs> it is going on over there. That's good. <laughs> um, uh, so tell me, you know, we're asking the big question of the day. What is it about the theater that you like? Oh, man, there's many things. Um, I grew up in Arlington and I love Arlington. Um, and I truly believe that no good big city can thrive without a good theater program. And so um, I love going to the performances. I love all the people. I've known Steve for just a little bit of my life. Um, and um, a lot of the actors are friends. And so I just I just love the whole thing. It's amazing. I know I saw I was like very excited because your uh, phone caller ID today uh, popped up as your maiden name, came up at uh, Alaric Sousa. I was like, yes! So I have known Nadia since she was in high school, maybe before that, I don't know, but for sure uh, since then. So, uh, oh, my Aunt Frida is on the line. Everyone say hi, hi to Aunt Frida. Hello! She's up in Michigan watching. Always good to see her. Um, well, we are very glad that you are on the board and you you got lots of uh, board duties as well as uh, just regular committee. Because I know you are also on, uh, actually I was about to say on uh, the party planning committee, uh, but really your main job is uh, being our treasurer now. Yes. And then you are on the develop, not development, even uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through them all. Uh, the TARP, the uh, the TARP committee yes. uh, that is doing the renovation and raising funds for that. So yes. um, we are very appreciative of that. And I think Jennifer mentioned something about her children and them being twins. Is that correct? Yeah, Jen and I are the on the twin club as well That's as Holly, right. who's also on the board. We all have twins. So <laughs> yeah, yeah say, something yeah. that you know about as well. So yep, I have six year old twins who just started first grade yesterday. I'm so. very exciting. I saw little photos on the Facebook of them yeah. recently. I, so. I can't believe it. <laughs> <They're so big. laughs> um, well, I know that they're going to love school and have lots and lots of fun and do really well. So Thank you. Uh, speaking of school, I'm going to jump over to one of our next people. I'll be back with you momentarily. Right. And we're going to go to another school. Hello, Micah Green. How the heck are you? You don't warn us when we're going. So. <laughs> Someone was just standing at my door and I was like, <laughs> hello, hi. Hello, and speaking of your door, what door are you at right now? What door? Like, where are you? Where are you? I'm at my office at the Center of Visual and Performing Arts here in Arlington ISD. That's right, and so you also have a strong connection to theater. You taught theater for many years at Arlington High. And now what do you do for theater with the school district? So I'm the fine arts coordinator of theater and dance for Arlington ISD. Um, I taught 
for 10 years at Arlington High School, which is also my alma mater. Um, Mine too. At Kickin' Colts. In fact, I want to give a little shout out to Steve because he's the most humble person ever and never does anything to pat himself on the back. But Steve Morris, on September 17th um, at the Arlington High School Alumni Open House, will be named as one of the Distinguished Colt Alumni. And it's a very prestigious award. Uh, another person getting that award this year is a um, fellow fellow graduate of mine, Hunter Pence, who is a Major League Baseball player. Uh, so he's in very good company, and we're very proud of him. There you go. Well, thank you very much for saying that. Thank you for nominating and that, making that happen. Uh, we love Arlington High School. And um, all the high schools. I have to say that. I, I, yes. I qualifier, I love all the high schools. <laughs> but we love Arlington a little bit more. <clears throat> yes, we love them all. And especially uh, Lamar as well. And and all the others. Yes. <laughs> I can be prejudiced, though. You can. About schools. Um, only about schools. Uh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Kathy. I know I hadn't told anybody yet. <laughs> so. Well, there you go. Cat's out of the bag. I know. Cat's out of the bag. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Aunt Frida. Uh, so, Micah, tell me how you got on the board. What made you decide to get on the Theater Arlington board? Uh, you, you have a very busy life. You were very busy because you were teaching at the time. And theater teachers do not have any extra time to work on anything except for being at school all the time. So uh, what made you decide to do this? Well, you know, the first, um, I can hear my feedback. What's going on? I, I, uh, there's the actor in me. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, I know you. So my very first show I did, I was a late bloomer when it came to theater. My mom always took me, you know, growing up to see theater. Um, but I never wanted to get on stage because I was just too frightened of it until high school. And then I joined theater. Um, and the first show I did outside of the school system was my senior year. And I uh, performed in a play uh, at Theater Arlington. And BJ was the director and it was the Christmas show. And it was just a great experience. Um, and then I left and, you know, went to college and did my New York thing and did, you know, that part of the life. And then I came back. Um, and it took me some years to to get back on stage. And I did a show at, uh, again, Theater Arlington. It was the first show I had done in a long time. Uh, Steve was in it. And Sharon Miller, who was amazing, um, directed it. And so that was kind of my introduction back to Theater Arlington. And I, I wanted to be a part of the theater and, and its growth. Um, I, you know, I really believe strongly in the fact that this is the only theater in Arlington and we as a community have to rally around it um, as best as we can. And, um, you know, since we've I've joined the board there, uh, Steve has become the executive producer. And, you know, I don't have to tell this crowd that the theater is just exploding and it's amazing. And we're all so excited to be a part of this venture. And now that I'm in this role with the district, I get to work on uh, building a relationship between the school district and the theater. And, and you know, Steve is an old friend and, and now we get to work together. Yes. Please don't call me old on the air. Um, I will say. <laughs> and this is why. <laughs> You're hateful. This is why. I, don't have, I can't edit that out. Okay. Um, yes. I, I will say that's one of the things I'm so excited about is that, yes, that, that I have this position. You have moved into this wonderful position with the school district. Um, and while we have always had um, a nice relationship at the theater with the school district, um, with our outreach programs and doing some things, it is super exciting. Um, all of the future collaboration that we are going to have and that we are planning on over the next couple of years uh, to keep that expanding so that it really benefits the students in the district and benefits the theater to have that connection. I'm super excited about that. And I'm sure you guys out there in Facebook land will hear all about that more and more um, as things develop because there are some really great things happening. Um, thank you, Michael. Stick around. I'll be back to you in a minute. I'm going to go to uh, our next board member, uh, the talented and hilarious uh, Nancy George. Hello. Oh, there's Nancy George. Oh, Steve, I was just on my way out to the pool. So good to see you. 
Uh, Nancy George, you're always delightful and entertaining. Um, how are you this afternoon? Oh, I'm wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And you? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you. Um, so Nancy and I have a long, long, long time connection as well. Um, I taught her fabulously talented children. Um, oh, and, and Steve, I, uh, by the way, now yes. that both of my children are in their 30s, Stop. I am telling people that they are my children. Uh, they're my husband's children by his first marriage. <laughs> Anyone can see I, I'm not old enough to have children in their 30s. Agreed, agreed. Yes, it's, it, the oddest thing right now is I am older than my mother. <laughs> so sure I know you, your mother, and that is true. Exactly. I'm sure you can understand that. So we're not exactly sure how that miracle of life happened. But yes, I am. I'm several years older than my mother at this point. Um, so, uh, yes, I loved working with Nancy and her husband, Brian, so much. Uh, while their kids were in school, that then I was able to get Nancy uh, hired as a teacher at our school. Um, she was in another district, and I was like, come over here with us. Um, and that was great fun. Um, and then we all retired and started doing other things. And when I took this position, I was like, I've got to get Nancy and Brian involved again. So I know how you got involved is because I called you up and said, come do this, please. Um, but what made you say yes? What made you guys think, okay, yes, we want to be part of the theater board? Well, you. <laughs> I mean, we never miss a chance to spend more time with you. Right. It's always good to hang out. Um, well, and you're doing a wonderful job. We mentioned gay night earlier. Uh, those of you who went last year and got to see the incredible decorations uh, that were on all of the tables, that was all a result of Nancy's and crafting uh, her her brilliant mind and the fact that she made them all by hand. I don't know how many, thir at least 25, 30 tables. Yes, it's about 25 to 30 tables. Yeah, it was great. And she'll be doing that again for us this year, which is really, really fun. All right, Nancy, I don't know if you can see the comments, uh, but we're getting, I adore Nancy. Um, uh, she says that's your best math ever. She does the same thing. Uh, my mother is saying she loves, oh no, she needs a pair of those earrings and that she loves Nancy George. Um, Kathy O'Neill loves the earrings. So you, if you, if you can tell everyone at some point where you got those, cause they all want them. Uh, unless well, I can you don't tell you where them. I got them. It's a pretty exclusive place, uh, in Wisconsin, um, at the local Presbyterian church every summer, they have a fleas are oh, and, uh, there's so many good things there. And of course, these are designer earrings that were in a little plastic bag for a dollar. <laughs> Perfection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, and tell me one of your favorite things about Theater Arlington. Oh my goodness. Um, well, uh, it does give me a chance to be in the arts, even though I really don't have a very dramatic flair. Um, <laughs> But uh, there's something about theater people that I have always enjoyed, and uh, they're they're fun to be around. And I have a new I have a new rule for my friendships, as you know, and that is is I no longer can have any friends unless they make me laugh. And uh, most of the people on the board uh, either make me laugh with them or at them, so it works out quite well. <laughs> exactly. Either way, we're covered, right? Exactly. That's very true. That's very true. All right. Well, speaking of laughing at people on the board, I'm going to bring everybody in. Um, so we can all chat together for a minute. So there's Nadia back and Micah back and Jen back. Hello, everyone. Oh, and I just wanted to make sure people on the board, did you guys know I have two grandchildren now? I don't know if anybody knew that. Okay, so for those of you who don't, those of you that don't come to our board meeting, the uh, placard that Nancy just held up uh, comes to all board meetings um, and all subcommittee meetings. Uh, that she places in front of her, uh, changes the pictures out each time um, of her grandchildren. Um, and so uh, just in case any of us are uh, curious how they've grown in the last two weeks um, or what they look like, um, there, are, there are always uh, big giant photos available and ready. Uh, and she places them there so you don't have to look at them tiny on her phone um, or be bothered with you know having to ask about the kids. 
uh, she will make sure that that information is available for you. Exactly. So um, it's great. I know it's, it is always a shame. We always try and have to draw Nancy out of her shell because she's so shy and retiring, um, as you can see. So true. Um, so uh, I brought everybody in at once so you guys can uh, ask each other questions or make fun of each other in a, in a kind way. In a kind way. Um, not really. Don't, don't be alarmed, Mark. No one's going to say anything mean. Uh, but if you have anything you want to comment. Oh, yeah, what about the questions? Oh, the question. <laughs> um, well, I was hoping that we'll have some questions for folks uh, in our that are watching uh, can ask you guys stuff. Um, uh, but I will I will ask one uh, to everybody and just answer one at a time. Try and uh, you know not talk over each other. Uh, what is your favorite? Uh, show that you've seen either at Theater Arlington, you know, that's my preference, uh, but it could be a favorite show that you've seen anywhere. So your favorite uh, play or musical that you've seen at Theater Arlington or possibly anywhere. Anyone? Okay. Who Not yet. Um, Winnie the Pooh at oh, Theater no. <laughs> Arlington. It was the first show that I took my kids to and we made uh, t-shirts and we went with the Boone family. Oh, she just hung up. Um, and we all made t-shirts and, um, Robbie who played Eeyore, Eeyore yes. uh, came and chatted with my girls afterwards and they thought they were meeting a superstar and they talked about it for weeks and it was precious. So I will say it's, it was really funny because years and years ago when I was in my early twenties, um, I, uh, was asked about doing some children's shows here at the theater. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I want to have anything to do with that really, uh, because I felt like that was, you know, not real theater and it was kind of below me. And I was like, I don't think I want to, you know, I don't know that I have an interest in that. It is always my favorite to do. Um, you know, that's, I, I would say I've become somewhat of an expert of it because I did so much of it because I loved it so much. And uh, Don Powers and I started writing children's musicals because it was so much fun because of the reaction of the kids. And really, I think my favorite part is always, like you said, is that getting to uh, greet the public and the kids in costume after the show and chat with them is delightful because those kids believe that you really are that character um, and they will talk to you as that character and interact with you. And it is so much fun. Yeah. My close second would be the Christmas show that you all did. Um, la was it last year? year before last COVID year, yeah, I guess. Yeah. but, um, so clever and brilliant. So well, we're doing, we're doing that one again. So, uh, we, so had so many, we had so many requests to do it again for people to see it again, uh, that that will be coming back Christmas, uh, 2022. So I'm so excited. Jen, you're back. Welcome. Be careful driving. Don't kill your children. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, worry. I won't. I promise. <laughs> Any, anybody else got a show they love? What, what was the show that I'm last sorry. year? My memory is failing me. It was the Neil Simon show that we did before the pandemic. And uh, it was the first in the series. Um, yes, that, that was um, uh, uh, Bluxy Blues is the one this year. Yes. Uh, and then Broadway Bound is the third, the third one. one. And the first one is Brighton Beach Memoirs. What is Brighton. it? Let yeah, Brian Brian Beach Memoirs. Memoirs. I thought that was a great show. I thought it was just great. I enjoyed it so much. And the cast was just fantastic. They were great. Yes, I agree. Yeah, Kim's writing. They're writing it for us in the uh, chat box because they, did, they didn't think I was ever going to get to it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cindy says the staff loves the children's shows as well. Um, it's true. We have lots of fun. And last year's uh, show was mostly the staff performing in it. And that was great fun too, that we got to bond that way and have fun. Micah, how about you? What are some of your favorite shows here at the theater? That was actually the one. Go ahead, Jen. That was the one I was going to mention was the one that I made the kids go to Winnie the Pooh. That was yeah. so fun. So fun. Yeah, I, I, that's one of the things that I really like too, is that we have something for everyone. You know, so we do our adult shows and that are great, you know, and, and silly and things that are entertaining that everyone likes. But I think there is something about taking your children to the theater um, and having that experience as a family that you can see things that is really special. And so we try to make sure that we always have family fair as well. Um, 
I will say that, my, you know, I started going to the theater um, the second grade at the latest. I think probably before that, my mother started taking me to things. Uh, she says now that she wishes she would have taken me to courtrooms and hospitals. Uh, <laughs> instead of the theater, so might have had a different job. Um, but, but really, I think she likes that we do this. So, Micah, it's your turn. You got one? Uh, you know, I'm I'm in a lot of them, so I my my memory goes back to those. I, honestly, I was really excited about Best Little Hmm Hmm in Texas uh, <laughs> because I've wanted to play that role for a long, long time, and I had a blast doing it. Um, and then the next show, I was Steve knows this. I I was you know I'm always excited to be on stage, but I wasn't like yes about the Christmas show just because I was tired. Um, from doing the the other show, uh, but ended up uh, having the most fun ever in that show. <laughs> um, the the Callahan, you know, what was that called? <laughs> Hooray for holidays! Hooray for, for ho holidays! Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, and you know, when Steve said we're doing it again, and I was like, well, then yeah, let's do okay. it. Because it. it was awesome, and the crowds so fun ate it up. So that was the funny thing is during where I think it's always hard to rehearse a show to do during the holidays because that crunch time right before the show starts when you're trying to gear up for the holidays and especially those of us that are doing educational kind of things, you're just exhausted, right? Um, and so we had a, a cast that had been very, very busy. And so we were kind of tired um, and it was a new script and I was changing things and it was an original script. And so we were making adjustments and changes. Um, and we were all like, I mean, it might be funny, but it might really be horrible. Um, <laughs> you know, it was really it's kind of our thought. Because like, when it's a new script, especially, you don't right. necessarily know what we in the room think is funny versus what the audience is actually going to find funny. And so right. it, there was a lot of like, well, we'll see. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, and there was, and and we and we laughed at it when we first read through things. But then, you know, you get tired of it in rehearsal, and you forget that it's funny. And so we started going, "Is this only funny to us? Is anyone going to laugh at this?" And so there was kind of that that nervousness about it. Um, plus, the crunch time of trying to get it all together, and you know, uh, in a very very short amount of time, because we did that one really fast. Um, and then, yeah, the audience came in and ate it up and thought it was really delightful. And uh, and we all, I think it was one of the most fun shows to be in that we had all done in years uh, because the audience interaction um, and the audience enjoyed it so much. Um, and the audience really is a character in the show, basically, because it's uh, we talk to them and interact with them. And so it was different every dot, every time. Uh, but they really charged us up and gave us so much energy. So, uh, so y'all make sure you come and do your part when we do it again this time because it was lots and lots of fun. My aunt Frida says when she was in Arlington, she got to see The Wizard of Oz twice, uh, and she loved it. So, uh, yes, and we loved having her here. Uh, anybody else got any last uh, comments before we uh, wrap this thing up for today? I promised y'all I would let you leave uh, on time. So. Uh, Anyone want and to may say? I say goodbye the way my my grandson? Did you know I had a grandson? Uh, would you like to? May I say goodbye yes, the way we my know. grandson always says goodbye? <laughs> so which yeah. is Mwah! that's oh lovely. Lot to you too. Thank you for being here, Nancy. Uh, Jen, any final thoughts? Um, I was just going to say, I apologize. I just figured out how to turn off my mic. So sorry about the background noise earlier. Can we hear, can we see um, your children? And yes, of course. I say look. hi. That's Grayson. Hi, hi. Hey, Grayson. And Ethan. Ethan. Uh, not Hello. Ethan saying hi. Um, <laughs> so you do have to know they heard your voice and Ethan was like, is that Nadia? <laughs> so they like saying hi. Do um, we have different color hair? Yeah. They do. Uh, that's mini me, mini Allen, mini Allen. <laughs> Both yep. of them were like, "Can we be yeah. done so we can go?" <laughs> They're so over. Yeah, like, they. That is exactly what they are saying to me right now. Where's Libby? Are uh, you at Libby? My last comment was, "I'm at Libby's school now to pick her up." 
So we talked about our favorite shows and I was, and Nadia, you will appreciate this. I will say that the um, soundtrack that I have been um, listening to like on repeat for the last three weeks is wicked. I'm going fantastic. tonight. I just saw it for the first time. It's, it's so good. So good. We're gonna. Uh, uh, I'm seeing it tonight. It's so not good. the first time, but I'm excited to you know be so good. See in theater. I cried. Cried like a baby. So good. The best. Yep. So good. We, we did. We hugged and cried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I look forward right. to the day when it's uh, when it gets released uh, for the general public to be able to do so we can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mike is going to be a fantastic alphabet. Yes. Right. Oh, Glenda, what's wrong yes. with you? Of course. <laughs> of course. I want of you course. to be green, though. Yeah, the alphabet. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> All right. Jen, take those kids I to the drop off we'll see you soon. I, I will. Bye. Bye Nadia, thank you for being here. You tell your twins hello, and hopefully they'll be on the broadcast as well someday. <sighs> One day. One day. Let Bye. Micah. And then there was two. <laughs> so what shall we really talk about? All right. Well, uh, they can still hear us, so we can't say anything bad about anybody. Oh. Not that we would. They're delightful. Um, all right. Well, thank you for being here, sir. Get back to work. Start going. Go continue to make a difference in the lives of children in Arlington. Thank you. And thank all of you for being here. Um, it's always a pleasure. I do want to say thank you to the folks at uh, Twisted Root. Uh, we were there on Tuesday and I had a delicious burger. Um, and oh my gosh, I had a milkshake there that was incredible. I've never gotten one before. Um, but they, the advertising of them is always uh, that they're really good. And it was so creamy and custardy and amazing. And I loved it. Um, so go buy Twisted Root and get a burger. Um, we will be telling you our next uh, supper club date uh, and restaurant coming up soon because they give us a percentage when you go on supper club night. Uh, so that's a great way to support the theater while you're dining out and not having to cook. Uh, more updates next week on the renovation and we'll meet a few more board members. Thank you all for being here. Have a terrific afternoon and a great weekend and we'll see you again soon. Bye, neighbor. <laughs>